Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, yet again, I have another Under Armour something for a review. Let's open it up and see what it is. This are Under Armour Valsets. Yet again, yes, Micro G. Yet again, yes. This time in leather, combat, Coyote, military boot, yes. And let me tell you guys, if you don't have time to watch the whole review, this right here is... Uh, one of the best boots that are reviewed in this category, you know, in the military combat style, you know, Coyote, something something that you would get for a combat situation, something you get for your service, for your military training. This is fantastic. One of the most comfortable boots that are reviewed, one of the most lightweight. Uh, the only thing, the only thing that I kind of wish for is that Under Armour had these actually with the side zipper. I think that would be great because some of you guys, if you're in service, if you've been wearing these boots, this type of boots for a while, you know that it takes some time to put them on and take them off if there is no freaking side zipper. But other than that, what a fantastic, fantastic option. $120 currently on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Let the review begin. As some of you already know, this review is specifically for my Ultimate Survival Boots section. So basically, I mean, if there is an applicable section for the boots, this is it right here because these are combat boots. These are tactical military boots. So you already you know if you're buying this booth you already are you know that you know you have to be prepared you you are expecting some kind of survival situation so let the review begin um we make the judgment based on eight different criteria here on this channel and the very first criterion here is criterion Number one, comfort level. Yes, comfort level, one of the more important ones. And in order to test the comfort level of all the boots and shoes that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk, non-stop, no pauses in between, no breaks. Sometimes it's really hard. Not in this case, however, uh, but sometimes it is really, really freaking hard to run in boots, you can imagine. Um, and then I continue wearing the boots for the rest of the day so that the total wear time is about eight hours. All right. I love the comfort level of these boots. They're very comfortable. They're very easy to run in and to walk in for miles without any, any kind of fatigue from the weight, from anything like that. And there are, of course, a few reasons for that. The very first one being, yes, the weight. Uh, let me tell you exactly how light or heavy these are. Now, keep in mind, this is leather. Keep in mind, this is full size. So you would expect them to be on the heavier side. Well, let's find out. This is size 10. 16.6 .6. and uh, if my camera will decide to focus one day there you go 16.6 .6. now let me tell you guys this is very very impressive weight for a leather full-size boot it's unbelievably impressive for this size of the outsole leather full-size crazy now to give you reference in numbers if you want a lightweight, which you do, honestly, you do want as lightweight as you can. You want something under 20 ounces. The more under 20 ounces it is, the lighter it is. The more over 20 ounces you get into the heavier category. Now, if, if it's 21, 22, not a big deal. It's still on the heavier side, but it gets a little bit to where now you're starting to feel that fatigue on your feet from the weight. Not the case here, 16.6 .6 is unbelievably good. I mean, that compares to, I mean, some, some light trail running shoes, honestly, are around that area, you know, around 15, 16, maybe 14. So this is really, really good. Another thing here, important thing, is the flexibility of the outsole. And here, as you can see, it is very, I mean, it's super, unbelievably flexible. Look at that. Look at that, you wouldn't expect that from this massive of an outsole, honestly, especially in the military boot, usually it is stiff as hell. Here is very flexible. So for rocking, you know, if you if you if you're in the military, if you if you you know if you're in service, you know what it is. This, I mean, it can't get any better than this. You can run for miles in this booth and it's gonna feel like you're running in your running sneakers, honestly. That's how good these are. You can actually run properly in this boot without putting any stress on your ankles, on your knees. But let's say you're tired from running and now you're running improperly. You are putting the stress on your knees, on your heel, on your, on your, on your ankles. 
Let's take a look on the inner sole and see how uh, it protects you from that impact. Let's check it out. Now, the inner sole here is very straightforward. There's nothing too crazy about it, but simplicity is usually the best. Check this out. Very nice heel bed, great shape, fantastic shape for the heel bed, very good R support here and actually good cushioning. Sometimes manufacturers, they just do this R support, but there is no cushioning in it. So it's kind of stupid, it makes no sense. Here you do have decent amount of cushioning here in the heel. I mean, an Under Armour just nailed this out. So very simple and works. And then once you remove it, there is nothing, there's no more padding, all right? But because you have this midsole right here, which is very soft, very flexible, you have extra impact protection from that as well. Keep that in mind. Now, whenever it comes to the overall padding, you do have the padding on the tongue, you do have the padding in the shaft here, very nice jelly cushioning, and then you do have padding throughout the whole toe box, which is very impressive, very, very good. Uh, usually, in, I mean, if you, you know, if you, if you've been wearing boots like this, you know that most of the times, most of the times, this, I mean, pretty much all the time, honestly, this leather part, this toe box, usually you just have that leather. That's, that's all you feel from the inside, this leather. Not the case here in this boot. You have a very nice padding from the inside. Unfortunately, I can't show you because I can't stick in the camera in there. <laughs> but you have another layer of padding here in the toe box going throughout the whole toe box and that just makes it I mean honestly you can wear these boots without socks on and it's gonna be it's gonna feel very very comfortable um, I mean Under Armour you guys just nailed it nailed it and uh, I'm very impressed I'm very happy that they did because these boots they are made for a certain purpose right combat boots military boots tactical boots so people that are getting these are not just people that you know that are regular civilians that want to have a good pair of tactical boots if something bad happens they can put them on but it's also the people that are in service you know that 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 go out there uh they have intentions to serve the country to serve the people to protect the freedoms to do all of these things right um you do want them to have comfortable boots on. You do want them to have the best out of the best, the best gear that they can have, the most comfortable gear. Because they have a responsibility, they have the important job to do, you know? So a lot of times when I get military boots like these and they're not comfortable and they're stiff and they're heavy and, and the outsole is crap, it makes me really sad, you know? Not the case here. Here Under Armour nailed it. All right, enough with this. Let's move on to the criteria number two, proofing and protection. Now, proofing wise, even though these are not advertised as waterproof, you still have the leather and the leather uh, qualities of being water repellent. You also have the gusseted tongue here, about six inches. Um, yep, exactly six inches, which is the same size as the lowest a little bit more, but probably inch and a half, but not not inch and a half, half an inch, it's not a big deal. So about six inches of being off the ground, protecting you off the ground with this gusseting. So pretty good overall whenever it comes to the proofing. I wish there was a straightforward waterproof version. I think it would have been better, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Now protection wise, this uh, toe cap is very, very, very soft. Keep that in mind, it's very soft part of uh, the toe so don't drop anything um, if you really do need a protection in the toe you probably are better off with a composite toe finding a boot um, and <laughs> probably not gonna be easy to find as comfortable of a boot with a composite toe but you do need a composite toe if you want that protection in the toe box because here it's very very soft you do have some protection in the sh uh, in the ankles but again this is very soft material as well so not much and then of course the same thing with the heel and you have all this to protect you from the bottom not gonna protect you from stepping on a nail obviously but still with all this on the rocky road you're not gonna feel anything let's move on to the criteria number three quality in the design feature quality wise under armor they have been around forever so it's a great brand and uh, you can check the reviews because it's a newer model there are not a lot of reviews on amazon the link is in the description below but trust me guys the review is going to be pouring in over the course of next couple months they're going to be growing like crazy because this is a fantastic fantastic boot all right and now the design features nothing crazy over here uh just bunch of close hooks 
three different types of closed hooks. You have these ones, plastic ones that are sticking out. There's one hook that's going through the fabric three of those three pairs and then there is kind of a wrap around hook a loop over here to give you more of a tension on this part which is great it's it's very smart very simplistic but smart let's move on to the criteria number four outsole traction and stability now in order to test that whenever i do my run i do it on a variety of different surfaces with uh, marble and tile and and rocky road and the wet grass dry grass dry sand wet sand concrete um rubber i have a rock climbing wall in my house and then i also obviously asphalt tarmac trail surface so well, just as much as i can and this is fantastic on everything now you see it has a slip and oil resistant and it really is it really is slip resistant it performs very very well on marble and tile on slippery shiny surfaces it performs very well but also it performs great on stuff like wet grass because this rubber is very hard so these ridges right here are super aggressive very aggressive and also because overall the design is very very flat these are excellent sand boots and i mean if you're in the military you're most likely gonna end up somewhere somewhere in my neighborhood where i come from you know some one of the stands <laughs> so <laughs> there's a lot of sand over there all right there's a lot of sand so something that performs well on the sand is a must and this 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 performs great great on the sand because you it, overall it's flat so there's no nothing to get stuck i kind of wish there were some ridges here you know because as part of the military training you're gonna probably end up climbing stuff climbing a rope you can climb in these not too bad but some ridges would be helpful to climb a rope or uh, coming down the rope or, or something like that just 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 a little bit here uh, but overall fantastic outsole let's move on to the criteria number five real quick the temperature now these are hot weather boots for the most part three season uh, nothing too extreme cold because there is no insulation and there is no specifically designated waterproofing so this is not a winter boot not a snow boot in the by, by no means like now this auto will perform good in the snow don't get me wrong but still because there is no insulation i would say not not a winter boot at all but uh in the hot temperatures they are very nice and breathable because they're so light and the fabric is so light very breathable so again under my armor nailed that now criteria number six real quick the sizing these are true to the size although get yourself half a size bigger so you have a little bit of extra space here in the toe box now because it's padded from the inside you're gonna be good even if you get the you know perfect fitment but a little bit of extra space will give you some extra comfort it's worth to have a little bit of an extra space uh just 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 a good advice that i got a long time ago and that was just a game changer for me uh criteria number seven now the balance of application so if these really were your uh, ultimate survival boots would they be good would they contribute to your survival would they be you know would they live up to your expectations i think the answer is definitely yes honestly of all the military combat style boots in this style that i reviewed i would that would be definitely 100 percent in my top five i mean maybe even top three i would say maybe even number one honestly now there are other good options out there that i might be you know maybe you know uh but this is just fantastic and let's actually get into the criteria number eight here the price the, the price is 120 bucks now it is a little bit on the pricier side there are there are much cheaper combat boots there are you know in the 60 and the 70 from Bates um but if you want comfort if you want great outsole spend extra money and this this is just going to be a game changer because it, it really it really it really is makes the night and day difference you know compare this to the Bates boots for 60 bucks like the what is it the ultralight sport something i reviewed just recently i mean this just blows out of the freaking water yes it's twice more expensive but it's money well spent very well spent um now in the same price range in the 120 you do have some competition like the nair tanicus the nair tachyon lightweight boots good boots and i would probably you know i would have kind of a competition between these and the nertanicus just because i like the nertanicus a lot too but 
it would be a tough one honestly it would be a really really tough decision between the two so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about these boots what do you think about this review if you have any requests for reviews drop them in the comments below and i will be very happy to address those thank you very much guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video